Welcome back, my name is Gigi Fizz. How y'all doing today? Thanks so much for joining on Ark. So I have all Ark Commander. I know. Now I know I've made a video on this, and the first video wasn't really that good. Let's be honest. It was just me really excited because this is something I really wanted for the game, and I couldn't decide what I wanted to record today. So. I was going to make a map video, but then I realized a lot of people have been asking me, how the fuck do you use Arc Commander? How the hell do you use this thing? And how do you get it all working and everything? So, I decided that I'm going to tell you. Sorry, I was moving my water. I know, so unprofessional. Listen, I've been fucking, this week has been crazy for me. So, um, yeah, deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, so Arc Commander, what is this software about? Let's take a look. Arc Commander is a spawning command prompt kind of thing that makes it very easy to use for in-game things and it's pretty pretty cool now i'm going to explain this real quick because i have explained in the other video but to get it to work you gotta make sure you launch arc commander before you launch arc you have to make sure you also have to make sure these settings are proper for instance high taskbar is true or false depending if you want to see your taskbar or not you got to make sure your open uh, open command key is a good key for you so mine is alt so that's how i open our commander up open and non open you have to make sure the input S -M -S -I -M is on make sure all the settings are like kind of like this you can also change the colors of this um to like christmas no anyways default key <laughs> default skin and also this is important as well. Open our console key. What does that mean? Mine, your default is, I think it's tab, right? Is it tab? Yes, I think it's tab. Default arc makes your uh, console commands tab. Um, I have that for my inventory. So I have I as, as that. Um, so make sure you have your arc console command key, which is this big black thing on the bottom right here. Make sure you have this right here, this thing. Um, make sure that's set for that. Wherever how you open that, and that's like how you turn your gamma stuff. <coughs> that's how you turn your gamma and stuff on. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, I will I will tell you this. The guy that made it is not a dev, but I wish he was. He should get hired because this is amazing. And I said that last time he's an arc dev, but he's not. He's just a developer for the software. The software is a software. It's not a mod or or anything. So it is a addition to the game, which is kind of cool. <coughs> sorry i'm dying anyways let's continue so you can do save and continue what we have is a bunch of stuff now our commander is pretty cool um we'll go over the things so we have three categories which is kind of like artifacts loot crates and miscellaneous stuff this is all kind of like mismatch we'll, t we'll go each one in order this is the spawn codes for structures and for items and materials and everything, this is for uh, the Fall Arc and Scorch Earth and so on if they add any more. This is for dinosaur spawning, so you can design, you can download, um, spawn instantly dinosaurs that are yours, dinosaurs that are from Scorch Earth and whatnot. And also, there is also a mod area, which also will have mods. Um, yeah, we're not going to go over through that, but this does support a lot of mods. Um, and more will be added in the future, depending on how he can get the codes and everything to work. So be patient, be patient with that, but it's pretty cool. Um, we're not going to take a look at that. Um, and also, there are these keys. Now, a lot of people probably don't know what any of this is. What is this? Well, enable cheat allows you to cheat in game. Click it, enables cheat. They're all kind of command prompts. And I just hid that. God damn it. This also is show my admin manager. If you have run a server, you know exactly what that is. Infinity stat that gives you infinite stats, but doesn't give you infinite weight for some reason. Who knew that was a thing? Um, that allows you to fly, ghost, and walk. And obviously, don't forget, if you're going to ghost, um, make sure you don't get on a dinosaur. Make sure you walk, then get on a dinosaur. Because if you don't, you'll fall through the world until you die. Very nice. You also have settings for morning, midnight, midday, and midnight. Sorry. I was I read I read morning midnight night. Anyways, you can have all these different kind of settings. Invisible, invisible, allowing you to be invisible to other creatures as well as players. Be visible, obviously, to be reappeared. Enable spectate mode. It's my little ball. I kind of imagine myself flying around. Allows you to fly really fast and does that stuff. You can't do anything with it except for just look at stuff. So don't don't do that. You can't build in it or anything. Disable kills you and allows you to respawn freeze dinos and crates 
crafting. So you can freeze crafting as well as freeze dinos and whatnot. Destroy target. Whatever you look at, it'll destroy it. Pretty cool. Destroy wild dinosaurs. Destroys all wild dinosaurs. Destroys all dinosaurs. Destroys all dinosaurs. Is that sanity? So that's a uh, that's a regular tame without a saddle. Force tames adds a invisible saddle to the creature so that you can just mount it instantly. Teleport. You can teleport to different maps. We'll take a look at that because this is pretty cool. This is added to the new update. And I forgot to mention, this is the update for 1.0.61. Uh, um, so there will be obviously more updates in the future. So, And let's see. Painter. Painter is really cool. I, I kind of, I'll show you how that works as well. And the finger cannon. This thing is really cool. And I really, I'm going to show you this first. So what does the finger cannon do? Well, let's show you. You click on activate. It's now activate. What does that mean? Top left now, you can see that finger ca cannon is activate. And what does this does? My middle mouse button, listen to this. My middle mouse button, look at a structure. Boom! It's gone! Boom, 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 boom! Boom, 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 boom! Oh my god. Look at that. And it doesn't put it in my inventory. This is one of the best things that have had happen to this arc dev. Um, this uh, the software it's amazing, absolutely fantastic, pretty cool. And the deactivated obviously go back in here and you just click on it and it deactivates and then now oh, you don't you don't one shot anything which is pretty funny <laughs> in my opinion. Let me just put these back here. All right, so let's go back over here. Possess entity obviously does that. Uh, teleport. Now this is cool. Now teleport is a little finicky because it doesn't have all the maps. It only has two maps, which is Scorch Earth and the Island. It doesn't have the center map. Now, this is really cool. So if you were on the center map, for instance, you could, if you're an admin or whatnot, or you just want to get around, this is a really cool way to get around really, really quickly instead of flying everywhere. Um, you can select other maps as well. Um, the center map, kind of, you can kind of like pick and choose teleports, but this is like the fault teleport stations that he's added into the thing. So it's pretty cool. So for instance, we want to teleport to the old tunnels. Right there, boom, you get teleported there. If you want to teleport to the old ruins, boom, there. Red orbital, blue orbital, green orbital, pretty cool. That's Scorch Earth. And obviously the island, which is really cool. we we'll just change that to the island. The island has lots of different spawn points. Lots of different spawn points. And also you can teleport to the caves and whatnot. This is very cool. I have not really tried this. This is kind of like a new thing to this um, this update. Um, but feel free, try it around. Uh, whoops, sorry. Let me shut my phone off. Um, but yeah, try this around. Uh, see if this works properly or not. I'm not going to try it on the... Uh, I'm on the volcano. I'm surprised he doesn't have his own... His own... Or no, the volcano map. I'm surprised the volcano map doesn't have one yet. Um, but yeah, in the future, there'll be more and stuff. But you can just, like, click on stuff and, and then just teleport there. So but that's pretty cool. We'll stop about that. Anyways, let's go back over here. Painter. Let's go over Painter. Where is my... Wait, Fire Waver. Now... Watch me destroy my fire waver. <laughs> so, each dinosaur has paint regions. Now, you can go on the wiki and find all the paint regions yourself. Or, you can just get this add-on. Not add-on. The software. And just hit painter. Now, what this does is each dinosaur has a region from 0 to 5 on color variation. So, for instance... I don't know what this dragon is, so I'm just going to experiment. So what do I want? Let's see. Maybe I want like a blue dragon. So I'm going to select blue and select zero. And obviously it painted it all blue. But maybe I don't want blue. Maybe I just want purple. Maybe green. Maybe cyan. Pink? Green? That color? This one? That? This? You see what I get? This doesn't paint the dinosaur. This changes the code. The main color of the dinosaurs itself. This is amazing. This is so cool. This is how I was able to paint stuff really, really, really quickly on the chessboard. I was able to paint one side white or one side, yeah, one side white, one side orange. And it was very, very, no, one side or orange and purple. Sorry. Anyways. And obviously you can tell which one, which kind of colors these are. It's a little hard sometimes, but I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. Also, let's see. So if I want to go to the num number one section, paint that one. Now, remember, not every single dinosaur or creature in this game has a paint region from 0 to 5. They might have 1, they might have 0, 1, 2, 4, or they'll have like 2, 3, 4, or whatnot. It depends on how the arc devs 
did it, like, made them in the dev kit itself. So let's change, let's do everything this color now. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. And you just click the little X, and boom, there you go. And now, we have a brand spanking new Fire Dragon! Look at that. And my game's lagging. <laughs> <laughs> but look how easy that was now I didn't have to go look at the wiki I can just play around with the paint colors and everything and this is really good for people that don't like the color like they get like a freaking they get like seven or eight different kind of same color dinosaurs you're like you know what it's my game I want to change this up a little bit let's just change some of the colors and stuff I mean you can do this whatever you want I mean this is amazing this is so cool all right that's enough about the painting let's go back to the other stuff so that's that whole column on the right side. Pretty cool. Let's go over this column that side. Now, this column is a little tricky and kind of experimental. And it's kind of cool. So, obviously, artifact crates. This spawns in an artifact crate as your the crate it is. So, the hunter, map pack, massive. This is like all the default kind of crates, which is cool. So, let's, let's just click on it. And there we go. Now, it, just, it pretty much just spawns exactly what I just showed this thing. And then you just take that out. Or you can just leave it as, like, a display purpose. So maybe if I want to... Hey, let me let me put well, let me put the pack here. Yeah, that's the that's the prize for completing my, like, dinosaur arena thing. You know, get that, get the pack thing. Pretty cool. Got also some loot crates. Now, these loot crates are all throughout the world. And you can just see what they are. Cave, cave tier 1, tier all the way to tier 2. Uh, cave tier three, white level. I don't know what one of these these are to be honest. All right, well I know what these are. These are in the ice cave. This is deep ocean, red level, sixty. What is this? Spawn it in. Is it gonna take forever? It is gonna take forever to fucking spawn in. Good lord. Anyways, that's. <laughs> well, that's gonna take a while to get here. Anyways, miscellaneous. This is really cool. So. You have the little paint over here to change the default color of the dinosaur. Well, now you can just get all the colors in the game. Ta-da! In your inventory if you want to paint the dinosaur even more. Very cool. You'll also learn all anagrams. Now, be warned, this command will crash or corrupt your game. I have actually had it happen to me twice. It's not the guy's fault of the software. It's actually Arc Dev's fault. So be in mind when you click on that one because it can break your game so be careful i from experience from my experience it has happened to me i've had to destroy my i had to delete my whole entire world because of it anyways claim ownership ownership of the target so if you're looking at a target you're an admin or whatnot or you've died you accidentally made a new character and you're trying to start all over again you can claim your you look at the thing and you can claim it to be yourself suicide kill yourself dino colors set the color uh dinosaurs of the colors itself same thing. It's pretty much the painter. Scorch Earth artifact crates. So obviously the destroyer, gatekeeper, and a crate crag. I mean, this is like here. We'll just spawn one in. It's the same, same thing. Oh, still, still flying in. Where is it? Oh, we're not in Scorch Earth. Sorry, can't spawn it if you're not in Scorch Earth. Forgot. My bad. Scorch Earth loot crates. Got the same thing. Scorch Earth supply crates and Scorch Earth weather. Now this is really cool because. This actually, this command works on the default uh, arcs. And what this does, if you go here, if you go here, edit command, admin ce start rain. What I usually do is I change this to stop. If I can spell stop. Stop. And now, update command. When I hit, when it starts to rain, I just hit this command and it stops the rain. Now this is very cool when you're building and whatnot. It's very cool. And also there's a fucking summon beaver dam. Who cares? Crap. About that. And let's see what we got in our crate. Come on, good stuff. Yeah, I've always wanted all that. Yeah, not really. Why is my fucking hotkey not working for drops? Anyways, disappointment. Disappointment of that. Also you can this. Yeah, this does a bunch of stuff. Let's just. Drop, drop, yeah, you know, yeah, fuck, ah, fuck off, alright, anyways, <laughs> alright, I've been playing Minecraft, I, I forgot a bunch of keys, anyways, so, that's that side, pretty cool, miscellaneous stuff, play around with it, obviously keep in mind with that c command, that code, that, uh, be careful with that, alright, middle corner, 
middle one. What is this? This is very cool. I'm talking with my hands and you can't see. And yes, I know this is a long video. I don't care. You guys need to be explained on this. And I'm going to explain it to you. You have the default arc. arc. Whenever you purchase a game, this is all the stuff in this in the game. This is all the stuff in the DLC. We're not going to take a look at the DLC because we're on the, the, the volcano. This has every single thing in the game that you can spawn in for a code. If it's not in here, that means it's not in the default game and you can't get it. It might be a mod, which is under that thing. So, what happens? So, let's do an, ex let's do, uh, an example. I want to build a stone house. What do I need to get the stone? Well, for instance, I can just type in stone. And it'll give me everything that's made with stone, or the word stone. So, for instance, stone arrow, resources, stone, structures, stone, and tools, stone hatchet, and stone pick. Now, what do I want to be more specific? Because this is a lot of stuff. Let's do stone wall. Now, the problem with this software, the R Commander, is that it gives you everything that has wall and stone in it, not stone wall, which I wish it did. So now you have to go through and find your actually stone wall, which is right here. This is your stone wall. Now, how many do you want to spawn in? Well, maybe I want to spawn in about 30. Well, let me left click it. What does that do? Well, for one, that didn't spawn 30. That spawned it one. How do I get 30? Very easy. So, there's two kind of commands that you can do with this, this middle column. There's the left click, which only spawns one of the object that you have clicked on. Right clicking on it spawns the amount that you have set it to, which stacks up to 100. And remember, not everything can go to 100. For instance, like stone fires, you can only have three in a stack. So if you did it like 30, you'll only get three. And then you have to spawn another three, and then another three, and another three, until you get up to 30. So, I'm going to right click on it, and now I have 30 walls. Pretty simple, but here's the catch. What happens if I want, let's go back up here, what happens if I want a tool, a hatchet, maybe a hatchet, maybe a pick, stone pick. I want a really cool stone pick to blow at my friends saying that I got the best stone pick. And cheated. <laughs> but I want one. Well, this is very cool. Down here below, there is different settings. Primitive, Ramshackle, Apprentice, Journeyman, Mastercraft, and Ascendant. You can spot all this. This is all the default kind of um, settings for every... God, I can't think of the word. Every um, rarity of the item in the game. So for every, like, weapon and all the other stuff, you can have up to any of these. Wait, I want a Mastercraft. Mastercraft one looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to click on that. You can also go a little bit higher if I want more of a chance to have a Mastercraft and Ascendant. Wherever you see this green... This screen right here represents that you are going to get one, but you also have a chance to get a journeyman when you spawn it in. That's what that green line means. So if I want a ramshackle one, I am more likely to get an apprentice one as well. If I get an apprentice, if I click on an apprentice one, I'm going to get more likely to get a ramshackle one and vice versa. If I go primitive, it's just getting me primitive. Journeyman, same thing. But ascendant only has one code, which is 65. So I'm going to go mastercraft. And I'm going to click on it. And what did I get? I got an Ascendant. Very unlucky, but I got an Ascendant one. See what I mean? It's kind of a hit or miss if you want to really spawn something in at the direct area. But it's pretty close. That's the ArcDev's fault, not the guy that makes the, the software. Keep that in mind. Anyways, let's continue. So let's go back to Stonewall real quick because I forgot about one more thing. So I'm going to build a nice Stonewall house. Or build a wall. Like Trump's going to. I need a hotkey. Well, this is very cool. What you can do is drag this down below through F1 to F10. And I'm going to drag it to F1 again. Actually, let me do stone staircase. F2. Now, what I can do is I can see on the top, there's F1 all the way to F10. What I can do now is hit the hotkey and spawn the stuff in. Mine is not working, and that's because of some stupid error. I don't know why. Hold on, let me reopen it. Alright. Anyways, I have no idea what I did. Wrong. 
but I crashed my Arc Commander. I have no idea. This usually works, and what it does is pretty much if you want the stone wall and you need to build a lot of it, and you're building constantly like I do, it's a really it's a really great way for hotkeys. And also, there's a clear option right here, and also you can set loadout. So, for instance, if I had a set for a loadout for um, all wood stuff, all stone stuff, metal, etc. And also you can set hotkeys and stuff for this. It's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. So that's that column. Pretty simple. Pretty cool. And also there's some mods. Like I said, all the mods, spawn codes for all this shit. Feel free if you really want all that. Um, have fun with that. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's go back over here to this one. Now, this is really cool. Now... This right here is the designated area for spawning dinosaurs, as well as modded dinosaurs. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about default dinosaurs. Remember that. This is cool. So what do I want? I want a dodo. I want the best looking, amazing dodo. Okay, I can type the search in for dodo. And it gives me all the options for dodos, including dodo wavering for scorcher event creatures. Dodo bird, Dodo rex, Dodo bunny, and zombie Dodo. I just want a Dodo. Let's click on that. Down here below, you have a bunch of different options. You want the level. The higher the level, the more it's going to crash your computer. The lower the level, the best it's going to be. Usually, I just spawn around 500. Let's just do 500. The distance. How far away do I want to spawn it? How close to, do I want to spawn it? Do I want to spawn on top of me or as far away from me? This right here represents you. This spot right here. This represents where the object will be spawned. So for instance, it will be spawned anywhere from way far away to all the way on top of me. I'm going to spawn it right here. I usually spawn it right around there. Obviously, the distance, heights, and Y offset ratio. Now, this new feature, there's a tame. You can click on this. And when you spawn the guy in, watch. He is now a spawned level 7. What the fuck? Level 7? What the hell happened to you? You're a fucking dud. I'm trying to make a video here and you damn didn't thing didn't spawn right. Let's try that again. Alright, I'm <laughs> Why the fuck's the leveling not? Your yeah, level usually works. Okay, anyways. Hold on, let me let me You damn creatures. Anyways, fucking fit shit's not working. I don't know why. Uh <laughs> Listen, it's a work in progress, so it can be bugged here and there and whatnot. Anyways, you get what I'm trying to explain. You can spawn in all this kind of cool things and have the dinosaurs tamed when you spawn them in, which is very cool. You can also do bosses. Don't recommend doing bosses because bosses kind of suck. And they're kind of annoying. And also, you can do spawn. You can spawn in um, Scorch Earth creatures, which I'll just do an example. Uh, do this guy right here. I am on my own server, single player, and I do have Scorch Earths. If you did not have Scorch Earths, you would not be able to do that. So, that's a uh, tell you guys. Alright. The last thing I want to do is show you is this side right here. So, you got items and creatures for all these tabs. You also have Recon Console, which is kind of the Recon Console command stuff. I don't I don't fuck with this. You can you can mess with this if you want. Don't just don't. And you also got the AT, AC Tame Calculator. Now, there's an app called Dodo, Dodo, Dodo Rex, Dodo, no, Dodo Dex, Dodo Dex, that's what it's called. That's what I use for taming stuff. But if you don't have the app on your phone or you don't have the Google one and you're in game, you don't have the ability to spawn stuff in, this is a great way to get familiar with dinosaurs and remember things. Instead of okay, keep looking at the wiki, you have this. If you're on a regular um server meaning a vanilla hosted from arc um what wild card god i can't talk today wild card you can still use this arc commander you can use this feature with it so for instance i am about to tame a sarko let's click on sarko now i know the sarko has the ability to have a saddle i already knew that and this kind of tells me everything so for instance Tells me the type, carnivore, favorite kill, strike, efficiency, efficiency level, 9.37% level plus 4. I have to tell you the levels and stuff. Um, time to eat, 7 minutes and 55 seconds. Narcotic buffs, 20 seconds. 
and also you can tell you how many you have so for instance if i have like only kibble i'll take 24 kibble for a level 100 this is level 100 this is how you change the levels and all this numbers will change crap i just fucked it up uh let me change that to 10 okay there we go and then it changes all the base stats and whatnot as well it's pretty cool you can also change the taming multiplier so this is like you have to know what your server settings is set mine is like three so i would have to make this like the three oh, wait is it two or three i don't remember anymore i think it's three that's three times um topor alert so you can actually create a timer so every narcotic buff so this says five minutes uh five minutes no five hours and 25 minutes Anyways, you can set a timer and stuff. You can play around with all this. I don't, I don't, I haven't used this or not, but here you go. You can start your narcotic timer. Start. There you go. Now you got a little timer. Timer remaining an hour and 35 minutes before it wakes up. You can pause it. Restart. Start. Timer. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I highly recommend everyone just playing around. If you don't really play ARC too much, well, I, I'm pretty sure most of you play survival. This is a really great way to learn all about the dinosaurs in the game and, and, and like actually learn what all of them take for kibble and what they eat and how you tame them and stuff because this can tell you how you can tame everything efficiently because obviously it has the maximum minimum of all the stuff and everything. I mean, it's really it's really cool software and I'm really happy that this is kind of in the game um, that you can download. But yeah, anyways... That's it. That's all I have to say. I know it's like a 25, 26 minute video, but to be honest, I really need to explain a lot of this. And last, the last episode wasn't much of a video. It's just more of me fangirling out. Yeah, pretty much fanboying or whatever. Because I mean, this, 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 this is so good. It's such a great software. And I really want more of it. It's pretty good so far. But anyways, that's it. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, it. go check out the webpage. I'm going to link you the webpage and the download link. Oh, wait, it's the same page. Duh. You can go check the page out and you can go check all the other things. If you have, if you have any questions, I will try to answer them in the comments down below. Not too much of a um, person of explaining a lot of this, but I, I'm pretty sure I explained most of this, how this all works. And I will explain even more in the future when more stuff is added to this because I really enjoy this software. I really do. But anyways, that's it. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one.